Throughout Earth's history, reptiles have roamed the planet, captivating our imagination with their diversity and ferocity. But among them there was one lizard, one ancient terror, that stood above them all. A creature so colossal it dwarfed the giants of its time. Imagine a lizard larger than life itself, way larger than cars. Meet the Megalania. This prehistoric behemoth ruled the Australian wilderness during the Pleistocene epoch, stalking its prey with unrivaled power and precision. Join me in today's video as we journey back in time to uncover the secrets of Megalania, the ultimate predator of a bygone era. Prepare to be mesmerized and terrified by the true king of lizards. Megalania, scientifically known as Varanus priscus, was a giant monitor lizard species that lived during the Pleistocene epoch, from about 500,000 to 30,000 years ago. It inhabited what is now Australia, making its home in a variety of environments ranging from forests to open woodlands. One of the most striking features of Megalania was its immense size. It is estimated to have reached lengths of up to 7 meters and weighed around 1,000 kilograms or even more. This made it one of the largest terrestrial lizards to have ever existed, comparable in size to a large crocodile or Komodo dragon. In terms of appearance, Megalania would have looked similar to modern-day monitor lizards, but on a much larger scale. It had a robust body, strong limbs, sharp claws, and a long, powerful tail. Its head was equipped with sharp teeth, suggesting a carnivorous diet. The evolutionary history of Megalania is deeply intertwined with that of other ancient reptiles, particularly within the Varanidae family, which includes modern-day monitor lizards like the Komodo dragon. Megalania belongs to the genus Varanus, which has a rich evolutionary history dating back tens of millions of years. Fossil evidence suggests that the ancestors of Varanus diverged from other lizard lineages during the Cretaceous period, around 80 million years ago. Over time, these ancestral varanids diversified into various species, adapting to different environments and ecological niches. The Komodo dragon, native to Indonesia, is one of the most well-known living relatives of Megalania. Both species share several morphological and ecological characteristics, suggesting a common evolutionary heritage. They are both large-bodied carnivorous lizards with powerful jaws, sharp teeth, and a keen sense of smell. These features likely evolved as adaptations for hunting and consuming large prey. While Megalania and the Komodo dragon share similarities, they also exhibit distinct differences reflecting their respective evolutionary paths. Megalania, as an extinct species, occupied a different temporal and geographic range than its modern relative. It inhabited Australia during the Pleistocene epoch while the Komodo dragon is found in the Indonesian archipelago today. This geographical separation suggests that Megalania and the Komodo dragon evolved independently following the breakup of the supercontinent Gondwana. In terms of their ecological roles, both Megalania and the Komodo dragon likely functioned as apex predators within their respective ecosystems. As large carnivores, they would have played crucial roles in regulating prey populations and shaping community dynamics. Megalania, with its enormous size and formidable hunting abilities, may have targeted a diverse range of prey, including large mammals as well as smaller reptiles and birds. Megalania's presence in Australia's Pleistocene ecosystem indicates its interactions with other megafauna, such as giant kangaroos, marsupial lions, and massive flightless birds. These interactions would have influenced resource competition, predation pressure, and the overall structure of the ecosystem. Megalania likely employed a combination of ambush and pursuit hunting strategies to capture its prey. With its large size and well-camouflaged appearance, Megalania may have utilized ambush tactics, lying in wait for unsuspecting prey to come within striking distance. Once prey approached, Megalania would have swiftly attacked, using its powerful jaws to deliver a lethal bite. In instances where ambush was not feasible, Megalania may have engaged in pursuit hunting, actively chasing down prey over short distances. Its muscular build and endurance would have enabled it to run down prey, especially in open habitats. 
Fossils of Megalania have been discovered primarily in Australia, providing valuable insights into its distribution and ecological preferences. The locations of these fossils offer clues about the habitats in which Megalania thrived and the environmental conditions it preferred. Some notable fossil sites include the Narracourt Caves in South Australia, the Darling Downs region in Queensland, the Wellington Caves in New South Wales, and the Nullarbor Plain in Western Australia. These fossil discoveries suggest that Megalania inhabited diverse habitats, ranging from forests and woodlands to open grasslands and arid regions. Many Megalania fossils have been recovered from cave deposits, indicating that these lizards may have utilized caves for shelter, nesting, or as hunting grounds. The presence of Megalania fossils in cave systems suggests that they were proficient climbers, capable of accessing and navigating rocky environments. Fossils of Megalania have also been found in sediments associated with ancient lakes and wetlands, indicating that they may have frequented these environments for water and prey. In addition to inland habitats, Megalania fossils have been discovered in coastal regions, indicating that they may have ventured into coastal habitats in search of prey or nesting sites. Coastal environments would have provided access to marine resources such as fish, shellfish and seabirds, supplementing Megalania's diet. Looking back at the Pleistocene epoch, the Megalania was truly one of the most dangerous animals to have existed during that time. But it wasn't just on land that there were fearsome animals that terrorized all the other animals. The same also applies to the oceans. Make sure to watch my other video right here where we talk about an ancient whale that terrified all other marine animals during that time and stood on top of the food chain. Thank you for watching and I will see you there.